we know about business because we grew up in it. We are surrounded by it. We both really enjoy building brands. It's every day, it's all day. It's hard work. They were the faces and force behind one of the most powerful brands in teen and tween marketing. And now, Mary Kate and Ashley Olson, the 23 year old co presidents of their multi million dollar entertainment company, have gone from being the faces on the merchandise to the inspired brains behind it, elevating them from Walmart to Bergdorf Goodman's. The former child stars are the unlikely fashion designers who have not one, but two labels outshining many better known, more established brands. Being embraced by some of the fashion industry's most discerning arbiters of style is no small feat, especially with a collection that, to the uninformed, could be dismissed as a celebrity clothing line. But without any formal design training, Mary, Kate and Ashley have given their style-obsessed critics precisely what they're after. A line of elegant, understated and modern clothing. Their professional lives began remarkably at only nine months of age, sharing the role of the sassy toddler Michelle Tanner on the hit series Full House. After the series ended, the Olsons began to heavily merchandise their image, targeting the style-savvy tween and teen demographic with everything from clothing and cosmetics to day planners and dolls. We're 15 and we're very involved. We go through all the processes of um, designing and picking out the themes of the line, whether it's new floral or um, uh, graffiti, yeah. whatever. But when they turned 18, the sisters took full ownership of their company and made a pointed decision to tackle their globally recognized brand with a more tailored approach. When, when we turned 18 and kind of took control of our company, we weren't aware of a lot of things. A lot of the things that were out there, so we, we um, cut back on a lot of things, and now we're just really sticking to the things that we make us happy. Things that are fun for us to do. Having reached the status of style icons, the business-minded twins' foray into fashion was a natural progression. I think it really started when we were younger and we'd have to have a adult clothes fit to us. Ever since then, I think it's really been a huge part of our lives. While students at NYU, Mary Kate pursued an internship with Vanity Fair photographer Annie Leibovitz and Ashley with designer Zach Posen. It was definitely a learning experience. I did everything from PR and packaging and sending out to um, pinning, pinning <laughs> and doing patterns and um, it was really fun. Yeah. Hi, can I just ask you what you thought of the show? Did you like it? They're not talking, okay? Despite being notoriously camera shy and preferring to remain out of the spotlight, their distinct senses of style continue to hold the world's fascination and impact the wardrobes of millions of fans. The essence of their creative vision was offered up in book form. Influence cites the sources of the girls' inspiration, designers like John Galliano and Karl Lagerfeld, and earned them more credibility in the design world. Their two-year-old high-end label, The Row, began as Ashley's challenge to design the perfect t-shirt, and has since earned the team a coveted spot on the Council of Fashion Designers of America alongside some of the industry's top designers like Diane von Furstenberg and Michael Kors. We've always loved supporting the CFDAs, but this year it's kind of brought a whole new meaning to my sister and I. Elizabeth and James, the hipper, less expensive line, was named after their siblings, which raises an interesting point. Unlike other celebrity clothing lines that surface on a seemingly daily basis, the Olsons have deliberately detached themselves from the brand by keeping their name off the label, so customers aren't necessarily aware of who's behind it. As Mary Kate and Ashley get older, and their audience expands upward, they've gone from being the product to being the producers of the product. Sophisticated garments that attract the same clientele who have the means to buy Chanel or Prada. And that is a more accurate reflection of who the Olsen women have become.
that's sort of a really neat uh, starting point um, for this because, you know, we're talking about about the past and how it's hard sometimes to let go of images maybe that we have of, of, of one another and, and even ourselves. And you guys have managed to just keep on going and really forging ahead in such an inspiring way, really showing the world, you know, what you can do and you're, you know, not just one dimensional talents and you really have taken risks. Uh, how, how conscious was that? Was that something that you both made your minds up to, you know, we're going to show? It was very show? conscious. Um, I think we really took the time to kind of step back and um, figure out what our strengths were and to trust each other and our instincts and um, and take a risk, like you said. And, uh, and it it's a lot of strategy. And, um, and when we were 18, it probably happened then when we decided to move to New York and go to NYU and go to school and kind of we took that time to really figure out, you know, what are our next steps going to be. But we had to kind of step away from everything we had done and, you know, really think about what we want to do moving forward and all these projects kind of slowly started um, coming up. It's incredible how much of the fashion world has embraced you, uh, you know, and, and rightly so, delightfully so. Um, why fashion for you though? Um, obviously as costume, you know, and, and as actors, that was an important aspect of self-expression, but why did you think that would be a good business to go into? I don't know. It's something that has always been a part of our lives since we were very little. Um, Even when we were acting, it was all about the wardrobe and the costume changes, and that was kind of also and how we fit really fit and quality, and you know how to take that to the next level, and how we really gained a lot of our um, our fans at the time was really through the way we were dressing and the way our hairstyles were, and we were very much involved in that and creating our own style and. Then we, you know, had a business with Walmart for some years, um, but it was a, you know, a mass business. So we learned a lot about um, that type of business, which is completely different than contemporary or designer. Um, but it was a good jumping-off point, and um, it just seemed like the right thing to do, and it felt natural. It felt really natural. That's something also that's very um, obvious with the way you. Dress. I mean, and you've been really celebrated for that. You're uh, a kind of a reverent, an irreverent approach to style, an effortless uh, way of dressing. Uh, is that something that you really, though, do have to think about, or does it honestly just come that naturally? It's, I, I think you know, it's sort of like brushing your teeth in the morning. We don't really think.